Okay, let's see. Holly Bell, thank you for joining me on this, our, our, our perhaps final family forum, uh, at least of the year. I think it will be this year. <laughs> I think it will be. I think it will be too. Um, we're gonna. We're gonna. I'm in a particularly warm location, uh, making the most like of our. Yeah, making the most. I'm in. I'm in one column of shade. <laughs> it's what's left over of an umbrella that could make more shade, but won't. Um, <laughs> good. Your and, choice. Uh, yeah, we'll answer a couple questions tonight about the um, uh, last day of school ceremony. Uh, I'll confirm that we are having school today, tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, and Friday. Um, <laughs> just want to be accurate on the days. Uh, some some schools in our in our uh, in our county have have uh, don't have air conditioning. Um, we are not a St. Paul public school. We are we are our own school district. But just to reiterate, um, we are having school today. We have we had school tomorrow. We're having school. We're having school Thursday and Friday. Friday is our last day of school. So uh, just pointing that out for everybody. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's been, it's been, I would say it's been 14 months of um, unexpected announcements. Yes, yes, and challenging, some of them. And challenging, some of them, yeah. So to confirm, uh, I'm debating whether or not to send an email to all families just reminding us that yes, we do have school, um, but also uh, there's a lot of events this week, Holly. So are there questions that you saw came in that we need to answer tonight, Holly? Let's see. Um, you know, there have been a couple questions about graduation. Um, those are all going to the graduation planners about space and timing. Um, and I did some settling with Kelly today on different issues that came up for graduation. So I think oh, yes, graduation. Good, good. I, I would like to remind people to bring in their equipment that they've oh, worn. Oh, yes. Good. Yes. Yes. We've gotten a lot of equipment in, but I know there's a lot more out there. Yeah. And so if you just Bring it in with your first and last name, students, first and last name on it. That would save so much time. Yeah, that would help us a lot. Yeah, yeah. So uh, computers, uh, yes. hotspots. Yes. Um, that's mostly what we lent out. Uh, to faculty, there's a lot of furniture, uh, oh. digital cameras and other things. Um, okay. But uh, if, you, if you are someone who has things from Great River School and primarily yeah. students, hotspots and computers, yeah. uh, please, please bring those in. And indeed, we are checking them back in. And we will be using those for learning from here from here forward. Um, I know so there are lots of books that people have borrowed. And yeah. for chemistry, there's a scale that yeah. people have borrowed. And then for Sheila Sullivan's class, yeah. they should be bringing in soil samples to be tested. OK, not all that you got from us. We didn't that, borrow the soil from us. Yeah, all that stuff. I'm Strictly. not sure where the soil came from, <laughs> really. But we didn't lend it out. They got it themselves. Are you saying they stole it? No, I'm saying no. Um, you don't have to return the soil the way you have to return a computer, the book, right. the scale. Right. right. It, uh, yes. Yeah. The Thank soil you. is important for learning, but um, we didn't sign it out to you, I suppose. I see. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking about all the things that have been coming in in the last several yeah. weeks. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, and so what I can speak to, though, is about this week is, uh, first off, we're having school. It is very hot. So, uh, you know, wear appropriate clothing. Drink a lot of water when you're not in school. Bring a water bottle with you. Ask for a water bottle um, for for uh, staff at Great River School. If you if you if uh, if if you ask them, um, I know Todd Gustafson knows our maintenance coordinator. A couple other people know where there's a stash of many perfectly good cleaned water bottles. Oh, that tell are me, available. tell me, tell me, tell me. I'll tell you tomorrow. I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay. And. Um, yeah, so we drink a lot of water because we are having school. We are an air conditioned facility, but we're also spending a lot of time outside. So just be ready. Um, and we have ice cream. And and indeed, on the last day of school ceremony, here's, here's, ice the, deal. Cream. here's yeah. the deal, everybody. Uh, the most important thing is that you know everyone is invited to the last day of school ceremony. And in particular, uh, something that's important to realize is that um, because there are so many still distance learners, mostly in the ninth through 12th grade, we're inviting you as distance learners to show up at about 10.30 a.m. to start lining up. And so at 10.30, we're going to line up all of the adolescent students in ninth through 12th grade. 10.45 will be seventh and eighth graders on site will come out. But if you're a virtual learner in seventh, eighth grade, come early so we can get in the right spot. Uh, we will have shade available. We have um, 
Uh, we'll have some water I there. Think... We want you to bring. We well, hold on, Holly. Just hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. And here's what we're gonna do. We're all gonna stand uh, approximately three feet, but it's gonna be a tight, a tight three feet uh, out there and have our end of year ceremony with masks on. Um, and we'll have all of the first through 12th grade that shows up. We'll be live streaming it for anyone at home who does not come in person. And uh, that ceremony part, uh, really the longest part is lining everyone up. So starting at 1030, we want all virtual learners to arrive so we can find a shady spot for you. And you will line up with your classroom cohort or your age group when they line up. Uh, and by about 1105, we'll have everyone outside lined up and we're gonna start a live stream on our Facebook page. And what we'll do is live stream and ceremony in which we give gratitude for those who came before us and cleared the path. Those who are coming after us and keeping the school alive will wish the first years who entered this year, uh, you know, a wonderful time looking ahead to their years at Great River. We'll wish the seniors a uh, adventurous time moving on to the unknown. And then we will go by cohort. So the cohort that you've been in in your classroom and the cohort you've been in um, for your junior high program around to a location where in your cohort, you will get a container where your teacher will hand you an ice creamy treat. And so we have ice cream sandwiches. Um, uh, I Usually our, our wonderful neighbors at camps have, uh, have donated those and I'm not sure that they were able to this year. We have ice cream sandwiches and we, for, for vegans and or dairy free people, we have a multicolored um, uh, popsicle. Popsicle, yes, which ice looks like a rocket. Cream. Yeah, so we have a rocket, rocket pop, and an ice cream sandwich to choose from. And then you enjoy ending the year on sweetness uh, with your classroom cohort. And then at eleven forty-five, promptly, all students are dismissed to go. If you're an elementary classroom student uh, and you get on the bus, you will have finished your sweet treat, disposed of the stick. And we'll get on the bus with clean hands and everything and go go home. Uh, if you're getting picked up by car, you'll be in your elementary classroom cohort just like normal and then ask for, um, and then we'll dismiss you. If you're in the seventh through 12th grade, I highly encourage families to make a plan um, to either be very patient and go around the block a couple times through the pickup line, because sometimes it takes that, uh, or make a plan to walk across the footbridge or cross at the lights to get over to Como to get farther away from the building to get picked up um, because tomorrow will be a day when lots of people get picked up that don't normally get picked up. That's Again, right. we just, sorry, Friday, not tomorrow. Friday will be a time when lots of people get picked up. And we want, we want uh, everyone to be safe. So parents, if you are picking up by a car, um, if you're a guardian or parent or caregiver picking up by car, uh, it's a good thing to plan to arrive at about 1145, 1150, because then you'll pull up, the line will be already moving. And then you can just pull right up and get your student. If you're an adolescent caregiver and you pull up to get your student and they aren't right there ready, we're going to have you drive around the block and it's not a big deal. You just drive around the block and get right back in line and, and cruise right through. It makes that go faster for you and everyone. Um, and so that's, that's the fair warning we're giving here about the last day of school ceremony. Uh, if you're a virtual learner, you want to participate, please RSVP with us and then show up at 1030 to line up. Uh, ceremony will be complete. Uh, by 11.30, and we'll be eating a sweet treat to end the year at 11.45. Everyone's dismissed and goes home safe and sound. Um, that, that end of your ceremony, if you haven't seen it before, again, will be live streamed on our Facebook page. Uh, and if you are just really an in-person person, person um, that you are not a student or a staff member at River School, we're going to ask you to observe from across the street or up on the footbridge or somewhere from a little bit from afar um, because because we're going to try to space out as much as possible, but we still want you to RSVP if you intend to come observe from afar. So um, 11:45 again at the dismissal time. There is no big canoe or aftercare that day, so uh, we we recognize that we are asking families to make a special uh, schedule for the day and be able to pick their student up 11:45 uh, at dismissal. And then that evening um, at graduations. Oh, actually, one question that did come in. Um, <coughs> here, I'll just pull it up. Uh, and I quote, wait a minute, dot, dot, dot. I'm quoting the dot, dot, dot. They're typed. Okay. Okay. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Wait a minute. We're having an end of year ceremony where we're all wearing masks outside, but then we're all eating ice cream together. How are we supposed to do that with our masks on? Excellent question. I'm so glad you asked. Here's the deal. We're going to be stationary from about 11 to 11.20, say 11.25. 
And when we're stationary for those 15 or so minutes, um, a couple things are important. One, you want to have a water bottle with you. You want to be ready to, you don't want to have a hat ideally with you. Uh, you want to be ready to take a sip of water and keep your mask on. Um, but we will be stationary and because we're stationary with a fairly large group of students who are not eligible for vaccination in the elementary. We're going to wear masks, even though we're outside, just out of an abundance of caution, quote unquote, uh, in order to make sure that we just do the most uh, secure thing possible. We are confident, however, that it's the safe thing to do because we will be outside. And so with the sunshine, with the outdoorsness, we're confident that standing out there together is just fine to do. We just want to make sure we're all totally double protected and comfortable by having that on. So at that point, when you leave and go to your classroom area, your classroom court, or you leave with your cohort and go around the building, or as a ninth or 12th grader, you go around the building, you can space out more. At that point, you're in your cohort already. You can remove your mask outside and you can take part in your ice cream because you're in your cohort. Uh, and for virtual learners um, you can, uh, who are attending just for the day, you can have a little bit more control over your physical distancing. So uh, we will have then, um, again, coolers full of ice, full of sweet treats. Uh, all these barking dogs will be at home. <laughs> and uh, your, your guide, either your classroom teacher or your cohort lead, um, or one of your ninth or twelfth grade guides will hand you a sweet treat and say goodbye at the end of the year in place of our traditional handshake ceremony. And so, uh, in future years, um, in past years, this has been an ice cream social where we invite everyone who wants to come. And in future years, I look forward to doing that again uh, on behalf of Great River School. But for today, for this week, uh, please RSVP if you intend to come watch or if you intend to come from off campus as a student, and we'll prepare for you. Um, we've got enough sweet treats already delivered at school. And uh, I'm getting all the ice tomorrow. Mel Coombs and I are going to get, I believe, 200 pounds of ice. I know, I know. Um, yeah, it's a lot. So in any case, uh, that, that's the deal for, for the last day of school ceremony. And there's the question to answer is, masks on when we're all standing. When you go to your cohort, masks off and sweet treats. Um, so that'll be good. And then- Ice cream, perfect. Yes, perfect, perfect. So 11.30 is the ice cream for students and staff. We can't offer it publicly. Yeah. Um, and then what's important to know, I think, about graduation that night is that uh, seniors, graduates, um, staff who want to come cheer the seniors on, and all of the immediate household family members of the seniors coming, if you've RSVP'd with us, then you know you've got your confirmed spot. If you haven't, please, please do RSVP. All of those seniors, volunteers, and staff are welcome and their families. However, if you are not a senior, if you're not volunteering, or you're not in the household family of a senior, please watch the live stream again on our Facebook page for graduation night. Uh, we will start seating at 5 p.m. that evening. And um, as a big outdoor public event, that is a mask optional event where households are going to be grouped um, away from each other. Uh, we'll have some shade tents set up, uh, but um, we're, looking, we're looking for families and students to start seating around 5 o'clock. And then at six o'clock promptly, we'll start the ceremony portion of the event. Uh, and it, it will be somewhat shortened from a traditional ceremony, um, all the senior speeches and also the graduation keynote and introductory speakers of which Holly Bell is one. Um, those are recorded speeches and we'll be sending those for you to go home, keep your cap and gown on, sit down and watch, you know, tear up and cheer. Uh, we'll be doing it eat ice cream on your own. What we will be doing on campus at graduation is at six o'clock, we'll welcome everyone. We'll have each graduate walk across the stage and receive their diploma. We'll then have our traditional uh, handing out of the carnations, uh, blue, blue stained carnations to folks that you're particularly grateful for having come in contact with seniors. And then um, after carnation time, seniors will stand with their families. They will rise, they will move their tassel from one side to the other and be graduated. I'm and then you will- die. Hooray! And then, and then Holly and I will cry, but it will be tears of joy yes. in support of you. Yes. yes. And then you will go home. Uh, that should land. Uh, I see a question here. How long will graduation ceremony last? Uh, really an hour at most is, is my guess. Um, so again, seating starts at five. The ceremony starts at around six. And so, uh, you know, if you're planning to have dinner, I think 7.30, 7.45 would be a safe start time for that evening. Let's see, Holly. Any questions we haven't answered? Um, no. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah. Zero. Zero. Not We've like answered good. all the questions. Oh, of course we did. For the whole year, they're all answered. Of course we did. Yes. 
Um, well, those are the questions I had at the top of the docket. Uh, I do know a few other things that haven't been asked. One, well, please tell. Um, is that, uh, and you you know this, I believe, Holly, because you were, uh, I think, a really big part of, um, and still are, maybe, of a school where David Nunez uh, served as school leader. But David yes. Nunez is our incoming head of school. Uh, great River School. I've met with him many times. Uh, we'll meet with him a few more times, even uh, in the next two weeks, um, to really make sure he has everything he needs stepping in. Uh, and I suppose I just want to make um, it public here that we have a very gracious welcome on hand here for David Nunez. I know he met with uh, our, our BIPOC parent advisory committee last week, mm -hmm. Thursday, uh, and had a good introduction. Um, and when David starts on July 1st, I think uh, a few exciting things are available to us as a community. And one will be everyone's really excited to get outside. And I know David will be holding um, fairly regular opportunities to come meet him in person. Uh, and get to know him in person too. So for staff, for families, for students, um, he, he's looking forward to seeing people this summer for real. Uh, and then as we start the year next year, I want to remind everybody, uh, it's been a couple of years since Great River School uh, really had all of its muscles stretched and was working. So um, just yesterday morning, I saw our first overnight key experience happening. Uh, that has that's, that's happened since October 2019, right? So it's been I know it's been fully a year and a half and, and a little more, right? A year and eight months. Yeah. Um, and so a year and eight, 20 months, uh, well, I saw them arrive successfully. Uh, uh, we, we took a little walk down the lake. We took a photograph of the group. Yes. And, uh, you know, I likened it to, we had to stretch our key experience muscles yeah. after a long sitting period. Yeah. And so as a school, um, we are starting next fall too. We're gonna have to stretch the fall starting school muscles that haven't really been used. Yeah again, in two years since, since the fall. Um, and so as we're starting the fall, for those things that you remember about Great River that you love, uh, you, if you're listening and hearing this, are gonna be needed to make those things happen again. Um, and uh, that includes, um, if there are things at Great River, maybe you're a new family, you're not sure if they happen, now is a great time to make sure those things happen. Whether it's more social events for families, whether it's uh, you're a family who is new, and you felt a little out of sorts, you could use a more structured welcome this year. Um, I know calls for getting involved in the parent engagement group and other groups uh, will be going out in the next couple of weeks. And um, it, it'll be uh, a really wonderful welcome for a new head of school, David Nunez, to get involved if, um, if you can and get involved if you have an idea, because the things that we used to do, we're gonna have to remember how to do them and things that you want to have happen, now is a great time to plant new seeds and start those new things again. So uh, please get involved. One question that came up. Um, yeah. It's a Blue Heron Bash question, so maybe I should just direct it to Heather. But someone yeah. asked about the mugs that were supposed to be done by the end of the year. Do you know if they're done? Oh, uh, I do. Well, I've seen pictures of complete mugs, so I would guess that they are. Okay. And Blue Heron Bash at GreatRiverSchool.org. Yeah. Blue Heron Bash yeah. is the great place to ask that question. I will do um, But I believe so. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. But that might be kind of some of the uh, in-person things that are easier to do is just pick up your mug. And, you know, we got to stretch those muscles. So when you yeah, drop you off your everybody. technical equipment. When you drop off your computer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, okay. okay. Well, thanks for joining tonight, Holly. Thanks, Sam. This has yeah. been such a fun year with you on this. Thank you for joining me. We started in August, I believe, of 2020. Yeah. And uh, look at us, it's hotter than it was then. So we made it through a full seasonal cycle. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, well, and so for everyone who's listening in now, uh, send in questions if you have them and we'll answer them in other ways. And uh, tune in to our live stream of the last day of school ceremony around 11-ish on Friday. And then if you want to um, our graduation ceremony, at uh, about 6 p.m. on Friday night. Uh, okay. Adieu and be well. Yeah. Thanks, Holly. Thanks. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.